Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sandra Jenkins. I'm real excited to meet each and every one of you. I'm actually in a class that is my absolute favorite to teach. Well, okay, most of the psychological classes to me are just wonderful, but this one in particular is my favorite because it provides a wide variety of skills and support materials to help you become very good at administering psychopathology. Psychopathology has a wide variety of information, but it also focuses predominantly on learning how to figure out a puzzle. That's basically its major thrust. That is, as you become more familiar with a full range of theoretical and practical approaches to psychopathology, to help and support your client, you will also learn ways to lead them and to help them go toward greater mental health. What an accomplishment. That's an awesome thing to do as a Christian. Now, I have to be honest and upfront. Given that my background is highly visible in the prison, then you are also going to find that many of my examples come from that environment. But before you think that it may not apply to yours, think again. In a prison environment, we are often faced with a wide variety and sometimes unthinkable cases. And so we have to get downright creative. In sharing those particular issues with my clients and especially with my students, I have found that people can get a lot more creative than they ever thought possible. You're also going to learn about how to do specific good research-based practices. You're going to learn, too, how to make sure that your paperwork is in order, that you have issued date, place, and time, that your progress notes are appropriate, and so on. But you're also going to learn all of this information within the confines of the Christian faith. And that's an important statement. So as you progress, you're going to be seeing a wide variety of these materials coming together and helping you become more skilled in your work. As we progress through the weeks, too, you're going to see several vignettes. There are three or four a week. They are scenarios dealing with all types of mental health afflictions, and those you will find outlined in the DSM, also known as the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Health Disorders. It is required textbook, one of them, in this particular course. So let me capsulize some of the items that you will learn here and give you a quick summation of those. First, you're going to be made aware of how to prepare for the necessary entry of becoming an entry-level counseling person. Hopefully that is one of the things that you will walk away from this course from. Another thing is becoming knowledgeable about the definitions of various theoretical and practical approaches to psychotherapy and psychopathology. Learning that psychopathology and psychotherapy are both hand in hand and that they actually feed one another. You're also going to be introduced into major thinkers who have already influenced and developed this particular field. You're going to also be introduced as equally to a wide range of both secular and Christian perspectives on counseling and psychotherapy. And hopefully you will glean from that yourself more about each theory's processes and its techniques. You'll also get to be a little more comfortable with some of the presuppositions that underlie various therapies and techniques and even um, perhaps, you know, if you don't agree with them, you will become more aware of how and why they're used. Then, 
you're going to look at the differences between what counseling means and what psychopathology means, how, are diff how they're different, how they feed each other, how they support one another, and what you might be able to differentiate when you explain your profession to other people. You're also going to be in introduced to some of the very important key ingredients of good ethics. Ethics involves confidentiality, making sure that your forms are filled out appropriately, making sure that you check in with the supervisor, that you're regularly um, supported, and so on. These are important areas to keep you in an excellent standing. You're also going to be introduced to what it means to be on a collaborative counseling or management team. That counseling or management team tends to maximize the benefits for the particular client involved. Especially at this point will be the focus of your faith in Christ and how you carry yourself in those particular situations, particularly in terms of the meetings with the counselee, the counselor, other people on the team, the type of conversation that you carry, and especially how everyone changes, not just the client. You'll also become aware of how theology and philosophy supply this wonderful backdrop for counseling and psychopathology, especially with those essential ingredients of understanding how they relate to the client and to help that client get well. You are also going to become more acquainted with the concepts of what I call systematic eclecticism and integration. There's a wide variety of ways to do things. And because of each person's personality, each therapist is different from another. Hopefully, we will be sharing examples together and the different types of environments that you may end up in and what one might expect and one what one might not. Finally, too, we're going to analyze and evaluate each theory and select components that can be incorporated into the building up of your therapeutic model, the type of model that you wish to become as both a Christian and as a Christian therapist. So becoming acquainted with these various areas in which all of the skills that we are studying can be applied. Those are just some of the things that you will leave this course with. Now before we part from this particular video, please allow me to say that I'm available and I do love to hear from students. Feel free to call me. I love to hear from students and so when it, you need a time with me, make sure that you call me and let me know or you can even send an email to me and you'll find my information on the board under the instructor information. So at any time, if I can be of service, let me know. Have a great day. I'm so excited that you're here. And I wish God's blessings on you as you endeavor in this first journey with me.